All right, hey, what's going on, guys? So today we're going to be talking about the newest gameplay trailer for Battlefield 2042. They just dropped this recently with uh, literally just a couple of weeks away from this game's release. Early access, I think, is two weeks away. Full game's launch is three weeks away. EA and DICE is trying to build up hype for this game, and they want to show more gameplay. Not only from the beta gameplay that we got a couple of weeks ago, they're trying to lead up to this game's full release. Uh, and I'll say this. Look, we're going to go over this gameplay. We're going to go over some of the graphics, some of the details in this thing. I know some other content creators out there have been doing that. I want to do some some actual like in-depth thing looking at not only the HUD, the, the graphics and stuff like that, the maps that they display, the three maps that they show. Um, but I also want to get into some stuff like this where I it's just, look... They are, they are EA and DICE are pushing out these gameplay trailers. It's great to see. It's great for the eyes. It is beautiful to see. Uh, however, man, it is kind of an interesting aspect right now where we're at, where the game is literally just a couple of weeks away. We are seeing these all-out war. We're seeing, you know, the regular conquest uh, mode of Battlefield 2042, which we already know and have played in the beta. However, when it comes to Hazard uh, Zone as well as the Portal, we really have not gotten a whole lot of details, not really seeing a whole lot of gameplay. Yeah, we got the trailer for Hazard Zone, but really nothing like what they're wanting to do, like with what they're doing with, you know, All Out War and, and Conquest um, with the regular, you know, what normal Battlefield is. We have not gotten that for Hazard Zone. We have not gotten that for Portal. We have gotten some details here and there about, you know, different settings and stuff like that that you can actually change in Portal. But when it comes to the overall game of actually seeing gameplay, from Hazard Zone, seeing gameplay from Portal, we have not gotten that yet. So I just want to kind of lead into that, just saying, look, it's again, again, it, from EA and DICE, seeing gameplay, seeing what we get to look forward to for the game's full release just a couple of weeks away, it is good to see it. It's really cool to see the detail that this game has. Hopefully it has it. Hopefully, you know, some of the some of the uh, fixes from the beta make it in to where it's not too much of some of the gripes and complaints that we had in the beta a couple of weeks ago. Hopefully that's not the case when this game fully launches. But again, like I said, it's still some of the gripes and complaints about just showing gameplay of one mode and still having two other modes that players are going to be wanting to get into and not having that. We're a couple of weeks away. Hopefully by then, hopefully by the game's early access or full launch, we'll get some gameplay of Portal and Hazard Zone. But again, it's just one of those things I want to point out to you guys that it's just it's just odd to, to not see that, even though we're seeing gameplay of Conquest and All Out War. So, all right, so let's get into this this trailer. And they show off three different maps. Um, they also show off Irish's, uh, you know, deployable shield, which I think is a, a very interesting thing. Um, it's it's again like i said it's a beautiful thing it's being able to see these maps it's 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 i honestly it's impressive to see how large these maps are even though <laughs> I, I, I kind of joke about this, but us poors, my, myself included, the poors are going to be playing on Xbox One X and, X and PlayStation 4. Uh, so it's going to be interesting to see in this gameplay, at least in this trailer, we're seeing the full size maps, which are massive. I mean, crazy big, but at least on the, on the old gen consoles, we're not going to be getting that. So it's just... It, and to me, it just makes me laugh to be able to see like some high res, big map gameplay, but knowing that's not going to be the case for myself as well as so many others that are going to be playing this on old gen consoles. So let's get into the first thing that they actually show, and that is this new map renewal on the desert, um, the eastern desert of Egypt. And honestly, just looking at just this display of seeing this wall separating lush green vegetation and this dry desert. It looks like there's some solar farms out there. This will be kind of a cool thing of just seeing two different types of terrain that are just separated around this wall. How much does the wall actually play into the gameplay? No idea, but just displaying that self as it is of seeing two different types of terrains separated by one barrier i don't know it might actually play a pretty big role when it comes to actually defending each side and you know what side has you know points conquest wise and stuff like that we do get to see irish's deployable shield which has a clear uh clear lens i guess up top a clear window bulletproof window i'm assuming uh, with some armor at the bottom and this is something where he, he crouches down and he's able to stand up and still have that cover yeah you're going to be exposed to you know i'm assuming chest up 
uh, but he does have that cover when he's actually crouching and i want to actually take a look at the uh not only the weapons but i guess you know where his perks are or where his abilities are uh where that deployable shield is and i'm assuming for what it looks like is that it over it charges over time so he's able to drop this shield and he's able to place it later on down that's at least from what it looks like from the trailer because I don't know maybe it's just me but i'm seeing uh this glow slowly raising in that shield um square so i don't think this is something that you actually pick up from a resupply i think this just charges recharges over time it's very similar to some other abilities i think the recon drone is something similar to like that from what i'm remembering from the beta so that's ex that, that's kind of seeing just how the recharge rate is going to be working out and this also might play into you know that that <laughs> that ir scan uh that that one uh, you know specialist i don't know off the top of my head um has to where she can see through walls and a lot of people are wondering what the hell is the recharge rate on this thing so you can at least see down below of irish's deployable shield it does have a recharge time don't know exactly how long it is or how long it takes for us to get deployable shield but it's at least something that we can say okay maybe when it comes to that ir scan it will take it will take a little bit longer before that person can actually use it so that's at least you know seeing irish and seeing this first gameplay of it now this does have a i believe it so it has a building i think on the vegetation side this is actually one thing i want to talk about and this is one thing that i have not seen a whole lot of people commenting on now the one thing that a lot of people had including myself had issues with the full or i guess the beta was how damn hard it is to try to figure out friend from foe when everybody looks exactly like when somebody on the enemy team looks just like the character on you on your side or you look just like you you're shooting at yourself um it, it it's it's just it's very off-putting and again you're, you're trying to decide friend from foe and honestly just looking at this trailer it, it, it's it, it for me it's very hard to distinguish like those are enemies like you have to be you have to be looking at them aiming at them and before anything pops up over them so to me personally looking at that uh, it just i don't know if there's any update or anything that has been improved from the beta when it comes to distinguishing friend from foe i really hope i'm wrong but at least just looking from the trailer and again like i said not a whole lot of uh, content creators have been talking about this just looking at the trailer alone the gripes that we had from the beta to looking at this trailer and look at the gameplay distinguishing friend from foe still looks like it's gonna be a son of a gun and i'm not liking that whatsoever it's just one of those things i'm just I'm not gonna be happy about it trying to figure out who the hell I need to shoot at but maybe it's like that Captain America you know you, you, you only know friend from foe as long as you know they're you know, whoever's shooting at you is the bad guy so anyway so we're continuing continuing on through it and we're gonna be getting into the next map which is breakaway which is in the Antarctic now looking at the gameplay this place is massive I think what from what dice has said this is actually one of the biggest maps in the game's launch so that that's insane just to know that knowing how how big a big a map was in the beta them saying that breakaway is the largest map in the game at launch from what i understand that is massive except for old x gel <laughs> old gen xbox one and ps4 <laughs> i would love to see how big this map is compared to what it is on next gen consoles and pc it's just funny thinking about that where it's like you know it's the largest map in the game except for you old gen o only for the pores you don't have the biggest map in the game so anyway going into the antarctic you get sundance and this wingsuit which again looks amazing and it's gonna be crazy to see how this thing um actually you know works in it i do want to point this out uh, too you know going into you know irish's deployable shield looking at sundance's grenade in the bottom right hand corner it shows that it has two grenades so you have you know you have the, your uh, primary weapon secondary weapon you have the grenades the rocket launcher and uh, it looks like you know a regular hand grenade and stuff um so it looks like she just I, I don't know if she starts off with two grenades but that's at least what she has in her inventory now how do you how does how does that work when it comes to getting those grenades back being able to use them i don't think they're going to be on a recharger i'm assuming that they're going to be you know you have to hit a resupply to get those grenades back that's at least where i would see maybe the balance i don't think you could just hang out somewhere and they would just recharge but it's at least just one thing i saw in this gameplay i'm like oh okay that's at least what you know how many grenades that she possibly could start off with which is two but again beautiful uh you know wingsuit it looks amazing just seeing the zip line alone and seeing uh this crazy you know 
height that you can climb onto this oil rig uh, is just crazy. Like, it's just, one, it's beautiful. Looking at the graphics, looking at the terrain, it's beautiful. But it's it's just, it's crazy to know that we're getting this one where just how large these maps are and how chaotic they're going to be. I want to point this out too, and I know a lot of people have, are, are, have actually talked about this, is that the uh, red dot site that this, that this um, player is using not only has a range finder on the left hand side but also has a round counter on the uh, on the bottom right so on the bottom left is a range finder bottom right is a um ammo count so that's kind of cool that you have on bottom left you have you have how far away your target is bottom right you have how much ammo you have so that's at least a little cool little indicator so they're at least trying to integrate you know different sites and stuff like that so a cogs and red dots and stuff like that so it's going to be cool to see how many different sites we have in last map that they show off is going to be in india and this is called discarded so it looks like a a container yard so you got a couple of shipwrecked uh you know container ships that that are on here so and, and even going through uh the, the the map and showing you know seeing all this different thing you have the abandoned container uh, all over the place now this is uh the the shield that i think a lot of people were having questions on uh, in the bottom right hand corner and uh, this is one thing I, th I think i don't know if it's still up in the air or not uh, warfrog if you've gotten to this point you're pretty much my only person I'm talking about. <laughs> you know what the hell is going on with this shield. Um, but as you can see, it looks like he can actually use that shield. It has like an infinite marker. So he can pull that shield out whenever he wants to. Kind of similar to what, you know, past battlefields were. You know, you could just equip a, a shield and use it all the time. There's no, you know, damage indicator or anything like that. So that's at least one thing seeing in here. Again, like I said, how powerful it is. Does it actually reflect, reflect rounds? I have no idea. We'll see it in the, you know, when the game launches. Um, but at least just looking at that, it has an infinite counter. You can bring it out, bring out the shield, whatever you would like. Now, I have, will not be, uh, <laughs> I will not be that skilled whatsoever to fly in that helicopter. But um, it is kind of a cool thing of seeing the gameplay, of seeing a tra uh, the helicopter flying in. Um, somebody was actually pointing this out. They don't know if this is some type of upgrade to helicopters for how powerful they were in the beta of seeing you know splash damage rounds at it now it didn't look like he was hitting directly at the person it looked like it was a little bit of splash down rounds and stuff and a splash you know damage out but man oh man you know maybe maybe the better best counter is going to be sun dances grenades that actually lock on to uh lock on to these helicopters so again it's uh it, it's cool to see the gameplay it's cool to see all these different things of being able to kind of look into the details of certain things slow things down see exactly what we have in store for us for this game's launch but like i said it's great to see this it's cool to see the gameplay however there are concerns with just a couple of weeks away from this game's full launch we have not gotten any portal gameplay we have not gotten any hazard zone gameplay besides the trailer so it does make me concerned exactly what's going on with the other game modes and why we have not seen those yet before this game launches in just a couple of weeks so uh, let me know in the comments below. What do you guys think about the gameplay? What do you guys think about, you know, some of the breakdowns of some of the details in this trailer? Let me know in the comments below about, you know, recharge rates and stuff like that on different abilities. Um, and also, too, let me know in the comments below. What do you guys think about not seeing Portal or Hazard Zone gameplay uh, similar to what we're seeing in All Out War or Conquest uh, for the regular Battlefield 2042 game? So let me know in the comments below. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please have a great rest of the day. Look forward to talking to you guys all next time.